Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson, we're going to be learning what I call the documentary version of the Bonnie Blue Flag. The reason I call it the documentary version is this is actually a lively song. And if you watch any of like um, J, uh, Ken Burns or um, uh, any documentaries of the Civil War or even old Westerns, what they'll do is they'll take songs a lot of times that are played lively and upbeat, sometimes just slow songs and slow them even farther down and use them as background music for for emotion and for uh, the effect of the, the tune on the video itself or on the, the movie itself. And uh, that's kind of what we're doing. This is normally a very upbeat song and we're slowing it way, way down and using some minor chords to give it the emotion and the feeling that it needs. So before we start, I do want to thank my patrons for their help for making these lessons possible for um, forgiving. I could not do it without them. And it is only because of them that you are able to watch these videos. And uh, if that is something you can give back on, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, you know, most people can't afford regular lessons, but this is just something very small donation, monthly donation that will keep this program alive and keep these lessons out there for everyone. So thank you everyone who has been giving. Thank you patrons for your faithfulness. And I do hope these lessons are a blessing to everyone. So before we start, let me explain one thing that's going to throw everybody off and put them in a panic mood. We are not in DAD tuning. We are in CGC tuning. Now, all you do to get from DAD to CGC is you take this melody D string and you tune it down to C. You take your A string, your middle string, and you tune it down to G. And you take your bass string which is a D, and you tune it down to C, and you're going to be playing now in the key of C instead of the key of D. However, everything stays the same. The chords stay the same. You don't have to change anything. There's a reason that I've, I'm doing this. There's a few reasons. One, for this particular type of song, I think it adds a very sweet tone, uh, a much more mellow, basicer tone. Uh, two, the strings are much more responsive. Uh, if you're playing this note here, just when you put these fingers down and play this note, you're hearing these bass notes behind it. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. And it is a lot easier to do hammer-ons, pull-offs. But the main reason is for the responsiveness of the strings and for the tonal quality for this particular song. So that's the beginning of the tune. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm doing a hammer-on open to one with my ring finger. I'm putting my thumb down and I'm picking out, 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 back on the melody, hitting the melody again, going up to three, one, 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 which is an E minor. And you're going out, 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 back, hitting the three again, up to four and you're just going out. Now that's one way to do it. Or you can do it this way. So open one, put the thumb on two, middle bass, then melody, make your E minor, three, one, one, one. that four twice. Lift up your thumb and because you're playing for two two two, this pinky is holding the two, you're playing that note, then open, make an A. And you're just going straight across, melody, middle bass. Now, ideally, what you can do is mix those two ideas up. Or... An 
And anybody who's taken my lessons knows, and it's not always the easiest thing to do, is you want to try to mix these ideas up. So what you might want to do is play it through this way the first time. And the second time. But eventually you want to be able to mix those two together. You kind of get the idea there? So let's start at the beginning. So you're playing an E minor, 3 one, 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 four, two, two, and you're, don't forget to fret that pinky. Lift up your thumb, open A. So melody, middle, bass, or, but you could do that out, 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 back on the melody. And you're going to put your thumb on four and you're going to slide from four up to seven with that thumb but when you put that thumb on four you want to bring these fingers down and you're going to get you're going to hear those bass notes you can even put them together like this so you're playing seven five 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 Six and a half, seven, five. You're already holding that. Four, two, open, two, three, one, two, one, oh. Let's do it again. Five, four, two, open, three, two, sorry, three, two, one, oh. That's your melody. But you're doing it with chords. Even though, even though you're not picking the other notes, it's good to do it as a chord. And then you simply repeat that whole thing, so very slowly. You can do an E minor or an A. Repeat. By the way, even though you're only picking that melody, when you're sliding on the bass with the notes these low, that C, you, you can hear that bass just from moving your fingers. All right, here's your third phrase. So you're starting on four and you're sliding up with that four, two, two position. Now, we're going to give you some options here, so... And all I'm doing there, and we're going to go way past this, but you can... Get, I'm just hitting seven, six and a half, five, four. So instead of going five, 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 we're going to arpeggiate that. So, out, 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 back on the melody, out on the melody, down. So again, out, 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 melody, melody, out, 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 back melody, melody.
here's another option, but I want to play into it. Same thing we did down there. You're hitting the melody, melody, middle bass, melody, middle bass, melody, middle bass. Or. And you could go out, 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 back on the middle, then out on the melody. Whatever you want to do there. All you're doing. Make sure that's memorized. Then back up to seven. So seven, slide that position down to four, six and a half, five, four, three, two, three, two, one, oh. So let me just use my finger to take you through that whole second part. So again, four, seven, six and a half, five, 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 four, four, seven, seven, four, four, six and a half, five, four, three, two, three, two, one, oh. So that is all of the Bonnie Blue Flag. Let's play it all the way through from the beginning. And again, the slower you can make this and still keep the timing. And I don't mean it has to be one, two, three. It does not have to be that. You just don't want so many, so much of a pause that you lose the melody. But you can play this very slow, very softly, speed it up in places, slow it down in places to get that emotional feeling. So there you have it, the Bonnie Blue Flag. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play, very pretty tune. Either, you know, if you play that upbeat, you can, you can finger pick it and it sounds great. So slow or fast, you can either kind of mix that together. So again, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, thank you, patrons, for your giving. Thank you for giving back that all can have these lessons. It is so very much appreciated. Have fun with this tune. We will see you all on your next lesson. <laughs>